Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news and of course in the series well I just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering everything to do with an upcoming collaborative release. What we're going to be covering is the collaboration between Supreme New York and the North Face as they are collaborating for week three of Supreme Spring Summer 2023 collection. Yeah, you heard me right guys. For Supreme Spring Summer 2023 season, for week three more specifically, they are collaborating with the North Face to give us a series of pieces. Uh, and in today's video, we're gonna be covering the release details, all the individual pieces, the editorial, and my thoughts and opinions on the collab as a whole. Now, how we're gonna cover all that is by using a hype beast article. We'll head on over to that article now and we'll start covering the release details for this upcoming collab. Here is the article that we'll be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out. Uh, and as kind of sent, uh, talked about here, it's this collab this season, or at least this half of the season, uh, is centered around, I don't know how to pronounce this, but I'm going to assume it's, is it Trop Liol? Uh, print and from just skim reading some of the details here it's this whole premise of it being a deceitful little trick on the eyes to make you question if the thing is 3d or not um, used very much in painting to make it seem like there's either texture or uh, yeah a 3d effect to the actual art piece when in fact it's just how it's been painted to give you that deceiving look and you can kind of see it kind of looks like there's like a 3d texture to the piece itself um i honestly thought it was just like a glossy finish on it initially but yeah well we'll get into that in a second there is more pieces in this collab than just these pieces here but we'll move on and cover these release details quite quickly and get into it so the supreme north face spring 2023 collaboration will see a global release via uh, supreme's online store the 9th of march 11 a.m edt time so that checks out it's tuesday the 7th thursday the 9th that makes sense uh they've alluded to that it's releasing a whole week later or a whole nine days later uh, for Japan and I thought Japan would be releasing it on the 11th on the Saturday but according to this Hypebeast article it's going to be on the 18th so I don't know if anyone from Japan can confirm that or not because yeah normally it just releases on the you know the Saturday after the drop but uh yeah let us know if that's the case or not guys if not i would just assume it's the 11th but anyway that's all the release details that we have to cover if you want the drop times and zones and everything for all the other areas stay tuned for the drop list video that i'll be dropping soon which will cover the whole of week three uh we'll get to that as soon as possible there but now that we've covered the release details for this upcoming collab it's time to go through the editorial and the individual images it looks like we've got a lot of images to go through though guys Let's dive in and check out this Supreme TNF Spring Summer 2023 collaboration. But to start it off with, we'll be using this editorial and then we'll go into the individual pieces. There's 16 images of the, in, uh, of the editorial here and then there'll be 50 images of the individual pieces. So to start off with, we've got this 700 fill down jacket showcase here with that paint being uh, done all over it to give it that kind of like 3D effect. I actually like this simple colored jacket with that design all over it. It's either going to be a hit or a miss for a lot of people, but this is how the design looks. And yeah, it kind of gives that like deceitful look of it adding texture to it. I actually think this is like one of the better North Face collaborations I've seen in a while as they started to get pretty, you know, pretty boring and bland over the past couple of years. So I'm actually kind of keen on something like this. I think it's kind of fun and kind of, yeah, just fun and goofy, I suppose. Uh, we've got it coming in a yellow color as well. Got it coming on a black on black, if you guys are keen on that. It looks like a purple and black. Yeah, purple, yellow, uh, red, and obviously a black one as well, which isn't showcased in this image here. We've got another jacket being showcased with this same design being used all over it to give it this kind of like 3D, uh, almost glossy look. Uh, yeah. I think this is a really nice photo. I think this is an awesome photo kind of showcasing Supreme here and that arcing hoodie underneath looks really nice. <laughs> but that's just because I'm a fan of arcing text hoodies and stuff. Yeah, no complaints here. Comes in a yellow, comes in a purple. There we go. Moving into the pieces that aren't that, uh, you know, uh, 
deceitful painting design there. Uh, we have some very, very textured pieces. We've got a crew neck sweater and a beanie. Um, yeah, I actually don't mind the color combination of this crew neck sweater. Um, this is kind of fun. I hope it comes in some other colors that I think would be more appealing to me, but yeah, I don't have any issues with that. It kind of looks like someone shaved like I guess like a peacock because I can kind of see like little black dots in here that I kind of look like eyes and it kind of looks like everyone's just shaved it and like made it like a sweater out of it I don't know like the peacock's feathers have been like ground up and made into this that's just how I'm kind of seeing it I guess we've got more of the pan uh, more of the pieces being showcased to us with that um, you know deceitful design looks like it comes in pants as well um, as we can see here we've got a sleeveless hoodie co-branded one with some uh yeah sweatpants that look like they could zip closed potentially the sleeves could be just zipped off so it might come with sleeves and you can just choose to zip them off but yeah okay i mean that's okay co-branded nothing too crazy we've got a t-shirt which when i first saw this it kind of irritated me i was like man some ocd's kicking in right here i hate this logo is not perfectly on the on the pocket square <laughs> on the pocket there i'll be like bro come on man you could have just could have just bumped it up and put it inside the square, but no, they want to do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is all right. I was kind of thinking that they could have done like the whole thing is just the North Face logo and then put Supreme underneath it, but I suppose this is a little bit more creative than that. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We've got some gloves, keep you warm, keep the people aware that it's uh, the North Face and Supreme there as well. Yeah, these are all right. It's got the same texture to it as the jackets, I guess, so it all kind of like works together aesthetically and whatnot and we can see what looks to be a gray version of the hoodie as well and last but not least we have a bag because of course what's the whole kit if you don't have the pants the jacket the bag uh yeah you got you gotta have it all right <laughs> i wonder if there's still uh, like supreme the north face collectors out there uh, i'd be interested to see but uh yeah that is uh the editorial so all these models and skaters rocking the collab uh personally there's nothing that really like blew me away from this collaboration but it is kind of fun seeing this um this uh deceitful design being applied to all these uh pieces here and i didn't mind like the textured furry stuff i only just realized that the shorts are there <laughs> <laughs> there is some shorts as well. I think I'll just stick to the upper piece, but there is some uh, matching shorts as well if you're keen. But uh, yeah, well, that is the editorial, guys. Let's dive into the individual pieces and see how they look off body. All right, so here's the 700 down jacket. Um, we can see that design. It looks almost, now that I can see it like this, it looks more like a plasticky texture, doesn't it? The way that it's been painted, it looks like if you were to grab onto this, it would feel like a plastic cover on a couch or something like that. <laughs> now, I mean, hey, look, I would love to hear how you guys see it, but now that I've seen it like this, I see it as like a plastic cover for a couch, but I kind of like that. It's cool, it's fun. I got no issues with it, but yeah. Doesn't it, like, it seems someone there has just like grabbed it and it's just like crinkled. I mean, it's awesome. I, I really like that. That's a cool way of handling it. See, but it's just, a, you can see, it's just a normal North Face jacket. Oh, wow, is the logo painted on as well? That's kind of cool. I thought they were going to do like the regular patch stuff, but no, that has been painted on as well. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I think this is just kind of a fun one. It would be awesome to see like the whole fit. You look like a whole like plastic couch North Face <laughs> outfit, but yeah, I can get around it. Okay, we got the other jacket. There we go. Coming in the various colors it comes in as well. Cool to see like a purple one being released this season, but uh, yeah, some, some solid color offerings. We got the matching pants. Awesome. Comes in all the same colors that the jackets come in, so you can mix and match if you want. We've got the very textured sweater there. I was under the impression that there wasn't this contrast stitching around it, and now I'm a lot less keen that I'm aware that there was this contrast stitching around it. I kind of, kind of wanted it to be like seamless and it'd just be like this one big furry piece. Less keen on it now that I can see that, um, that there. I think it looks a lot better in black now actually, because yeah, the, the stitching works with the color of the, uh, the fur. Yeah, definitely feeling the like black gray one more. It's a shame they didn't release more colors of this. I actually think this is a fun piece. It's nice to see different pieces in a Supreme North Face collab because I haven't seen something like this in a Supreme North Face collab in a long time. So fun to see something playful like this. It, the way that it's kind of done though, almost makes it look like a long sleeve though, but I'm sure it's probably got the weight of a crew neck or something like that. 
There's the shorts with the collaborative waistband. <laughs> Crazy. Not for me, though. And please don't buy both of them and wear both of them at the same time, guys. And the matching hat. Don't do it. You'll appear on the worst fits on Instagram, and you don't, you don't want to end up there. <laughs> uh, okay. So here's the collaborative hoodie. I like that the zipped shoulders is optional. I think I'd keep it zipped up, though, because I just think this looks a little bit weird. But, uh, yeah. Comes in some solid colors. Don't mind it in the black or the gray, but I definitely won't be going crazy trying to pick these up. We've got the pants, which you can zip into shorts if you're keen on that. Uh, I'd rather just keep my sweatpants as pants and not sweat shorts, but each to their own. Yep, there it is there. Bam, bam, bam. The collaborative tee, this is kind of fun. I, again, having the logo like painted, but not perfectly like painted on it. It's a fun time. Blue and, ah, oh, okay. Various different colors. White and red, green, red, blue and yellow, black and white. I like the black and white and the white and red. I think they're the most fun for sure. There's the matching hats for the other furry stuff. Don't buy the whole set, guys. Please don't buy the whole set. <laughs> You're gonna look like some ridiculous like Sasquatch, man. Like, nah. Okay, and the gloves, of course, and they'll come in the, yeah, in all the same colors the jacket comes in, so you can have the full ensemble if you if you want to. I don't think it ever gets that cold in Australia unless you go into, like, the mountain ranges to wear this type of stuff, so, yeah, I don't know if you want to look like a crinkled North Face uh, covering covered with a plastic bag up in, the, up in the mountain ranges, but each to their own, man. And, of course, the backpacks. I actually forgot what we were going to have in those final couple images, but, yeah. The backpacks make sense. Uh, look, all in all, I, I think this is definitely one of the better Supreme North Face collapse. I like the like optical illusion that the painting gives to the pieces, and I think it's kind of playful and fun. Um, I really liked the, oh god, we're gonna have to go back quite a bit. Um, like the jackets are fun. I think it's like cool and it gives it that texture. You can have like people, probably a lot of drunk people, come up to you if you're rocking this at like a bar or, or a club or something, and they'll be like, yo, this isn't actually like, crinkly plastic <laughs> or at least that's how i see it now but yeah uh, no i think this is fun I, I can get around this um i don't think i'll be picking up anything from this collab but like if i saw maybe like the hoodies on like second street japan for like dumb cheap maybe i'd pick like the black or gray one up um if i saw like the gray sweater for like dumb cheap maybe it's all literally if it's cheap like i, I don't care about it at a retail price i care about it at a secondhand price um it, yeah it's not amazing enough for mo to motivate me to pick it up at retail um unlike that croc faux fur trench coat that we saw last week but uh yeah maybe you guys feel di very differently maybe you really like this collab maybe you think it's like a nice direction for supreme to take with these north face collabs i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the collab and if it's a yes or a no from you down in that comment section below well guys that is everything to be covered about the supreme north face spring summer 2023 collaboration or at least the uh the crinkly one <laughs> uh yeah it was fun like i have no issues with it i won't be picking any of it up because i just don't think it's like very much my aesthetic but yeah i want to hear from you guys if you are picking it up um we covered the release details it's dropping this thursday the 9th um i thought the 11th for japan but apparently it's the 18th uh, we covered all the the editorial, all the individual pieces, and my thoughts and opinions, guys. So now I want to have that awesome conversation with you guys in the comment section below about, you know, if you're picking it up or not. You know, are you feeling this collab? What are you grabbing from it? You want to look like a North Face Supreme Sasquatch, or are you going for that like crinkly plastic, you know, look? <laughs> Let me know what you're going to be grabbing in the size and color you're grabbing it down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Supreme collabs, North Face collabs, all that good stuff, you just gotta give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. As mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3595 before the end of the month. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of March. But that is everything I got to say about this upcoming collab, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the drop list video where we cover everything releasing in week three. But until then, until the next drop list video, Supreme video, or Streetwear Talk video, I'll catch you later.